Hello and good morning everyone. I am starting out today a little tired. I went to bed really late last night trying to do orders. I only got through about half of them, but hopefully I can do the other half today and get those all shipped out to you. We are so excited for you guys to get this stuff in your house. Thank you again for all your love and support as far as our merch goes. We are so grateful. We are starting out today good. Hazy is going to school today. I already got the boys off to school. They got to wear free dress day today. I would have shown that to you, but we were kind of running around crazy bricks and couldn't find a pair of pants. They really wanted to wear, and so it kind of took up the first part of the morning. He ended up finding something that he loved so I will show you guys their outfits whenever they come home from school they love to wear a free dress and today they got to wear a hat if they brought two dollars school will do that as fundraisers because typically they wear uniforms they love it they get to express themselves a little bit more that's fun for them but I'm gonna go ahead and get hazy ready and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do her hair she's wearing this darling dress this is like my favorite look what I found I bought these bows a while ago and they totally match her dress isn't that so funny should we do your hair uh -huh. you can speed through some of this I brought it up to two points right here and then I braided those and just let them sit while I put the opposite side into a ponytail and then I brought the braid in there and put it in and then she decided to have braids done off the back as well. That is how her hair turned out today. And then to make it even cuter, I have some coordinating bows. I just randomly have these. They totally match her outfit. I get all of her bows at Little Poppy. It's a monthly subscription. We've had it since she was born. I absolutely love it. Well, that's a little matchy matchy today. That's cute. Turn around and give them a smile. One thing I always do is I just secure it with some hairspray. Yeah, and it's cold in my face. It is a little cold, huh? Just to make sure it all stays in, especially while she's at preschool. You look so beautiful. Maybe you make a smiley face instead. You look so pretty. Why don't you go get your shoes, okay, and I'll help you put them on. We have extra time right now. Okay, get your shoes and we'll have extra time. Her hair is done. I try every single day to do her hair. Trying to let her be herself. She really wanted to wear her new bunny shoes for $7 from the van store. It was buy one, get one, half off. Yeah, they were on clearance already. She wants the show on, that's all she wants. All right, watch Sophia for like three minutes, then we gotta go to school, okay? Okay. In case any of you are wondering, I'm totally aware that this is bad luck, right? Is that just me? Or were you guys all told that putting an umbrella, my dad taught me, putting an umbrella up in the house is bad luck? But it's mine. My kids do it over and over and over. I don't know how to make them stop. I'm gonna get her off to school. I have to help in Cruise class today for teacher appreciation. I'm so excited about that. And then dad's gonna go timber sledding, so that should be super fun. What are they doing, Hazy? Um, they're making a doghouse. They're making a doghouse? Yeah. That is one nice doghouse, Hazy girl. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Fun and rare treat today. I actually got to pick up Hazy from school. That was awesome. She came running out, Daddy, Daddy. She jumped on my arm. I actually couldn't pull out of the place because she wouldn't let go of my arm. She was so excited. That was fantastic. Love being able to do that, and I love you, pretty girl. So we're home now. I'm gonna make her some lunch. Mom is helping out in one of the kids' classes. I'm not even sure what she's got going on. She's helping out in one of the kids' classes, and I think she told you at the end of yesterday's vlog that I'm going to be doing something pretty epic, pretty rad, pretty savage, pretty outside of my comfort zone. Most of you know, having watched, <laughs> having watched Kirby do motocross, that I do not ride dirt bikes. I figured since I can't ride a dirt bike, why not try a timber sled? Timber sledding is a dirt bike with basically snowmobile parts on the bottom, and we're gonna go tear up the canyon here. We're gonna go up the mountainside. I'm going out with a couple buddies. Gonna learn what it's all about. Should be very interesting. And you are going with me and Ava. Okay. <laughs> That's coming up here in just a little bit. Super excited about that, but also a little bit nervous because I don't even know how to ride a dirt bike, let alone a timber sled. Come along with that action coming up here very shortly, as soon as the other kids get home from school. You wanna do a picnic? Yeah. Okay, let's do a picnic. We'll set up a blankie for you, okay? Um, okay, but I don't know how to lay up a blanket. I'll help you. Okay, that's kind of sick. Is that kind of sick? You're sick. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes, yeah. Dad is timber sledding. He is going to have so much fun. I ended up taking a nap earlier today. Have you ever taken one of those naps and you wake up and you're like, what day is it? What time is it? I'm so confused. I was asleep so hard. I really didn't think I'd be able to sleep because they were doing all this construction, but I stayed up so late last night. I was dragging today. So Brandon was kind enough to watch Hazy while I was able to take a nap. I've woken up. Kids are out playing, working on homework with some kids. Actually shaping out to be a beautiful day. It's gorgeous outside. I'm loving the sun shining. It's fun to see all the progress. You guys saw those going. Dad did a cool time lapse of that. That's pretty awesome. We're, we're really loving watching the process of this.
stuff. playing it's a little strange I think this summer is the first summer it's gonna feel different because Hazy is out playing with her brothers right now they're playing this game called bigger and better crew's like mom I found some golf balls I think I'm gonna go play bigger or better I don't know if we've talked to you guys about that but bigger or better is you take something from your house that's random you don't need you don't want or a golf ball you found outside and you take it around and you go to the next house and say do you have anything bigger or better than this so that's what they were playing just hear them walking in now are you having fun yeah that's my, my hand are just a little um, from the blocks, but I'm super sorry. Oh, they're they're a little dirty from the blocks. Yeah, but I'm super sorry. That's I'm okay. Why don't you just? I'm looking for my backpack so I can go to school outside. It's a tent. No, it's pretend. Okay, grab your Peppa, but let's wash hands first. Okay, but mommy, can I grab my backpack? Oh, your hands are dirty. What? Where were you? Oh, yeah. That looks like a lot of kid fun, huh? Yeah. Uh-oh, don't touch your face. Doesn't really make sense now because one of the kids just came in. But what I was going to say is I think this is going to be the first summer that all the kids play outside. We have some great neighborhood girls that love Hazy, love to play with her. They just think she is the cutest little novelty, and they love to just be a little mommy to her and take care of her and play with her. I think this is going to be an interesting summer where I'm like, oh, my gosh, she's playing with real friends. And her brothers are so good with her. Here comes another kid coming inside. <laughs> literally at the top of the world today. We got Lone Peak, Timpanogos right behind us. We are on what's called a timber sled. I told you guys I was gonna go timber sledding. Kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a motocross dirt bike retrofitted with snowmobile parts. Somehow, it turns into a timber sled. Malcolm Fear, very quickly, in layman's terms, what's a timber sled? What's it all about? Timber sled is your all year access to riding a dirt bike. So you take a dirt bike, throw a snowmobile track on it, a ski on the front, and then you get to awesome destinations like we're at today. So dude, you're telling me that in the summer, you take this stuff off, put wheels on it, and you ride this as a dirt bike oh yeah right up in the same mountains just with no snow mind blowing so this is a year-round toy right here we have brought it up to a location you can't get guys i'm not kidding you can't get up here the place we've been we had to cut through trees narrow passes you saw that we were up here over on the top of this ridge he was pulling some sick jumps i got that footage for you guys and you have a youtube channel is that right yeah you do timber sledding all kinds of stuff on there what's your youtube channel if people want to know more about the sport and about your life yeah so my youtube channel is malcolm freer got a lot of edits kind of more of the timber sled based adventure oh style sick life, dude so. okay well i will yeah. link it in the description 
description. I'll put a card right there so you guys can find it easily. He has been a champ putting up with me today, as you guys saw. Uh, I was falling all over the place. We started off very first thing. I dumped the bike, and I'm like, this is gonna be a long day. On those first trails, I'm all shaky. And then we kind of got our comfort zone. I kind of got a feel for it. We're just having a blast tearing it up here. I mean, look at where we are, you guys. You can't get to this place any other way. Absolutely incredible vistas. It's been the greatest time. We got a long ways down, and it's starting to get dark, so we're gonna jump on these bikes, get out of here. Thank you, dude, for treating me to an yeah, afternoon glad you came. of amazing epicness. Super fun times. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. So when we were in Hawaii, Hazy, what did you keep wanting to be? A mermaid. Every single day, she's like, Mom, can I please be a mermaid? Can I really be the real mermaid? I know, huh? So I found these pajamas at Carter's. Mermaid in my dreams. So she has mermaids all over her pajamas because she wants to be a real mermaid, huh? And I'm a real mermaid right now. Yeah, you are. You're beautiful. Yeah. My parents came out for a little bit tonight and brought us pizza. Brandon's still not home. It's almost 8 o'clock. So I'm about to get the kids in bed. From the pictures I've seen and from the Insta stories I've seen, it looks like he's having a fantastic time. I can't wait to hear about all of it. I'm gonna get these kids to bed. It's been a super great night. A few moments later. I got the kids in bed and I'm getting a little worried because I haven't heard from dad. He's in an area where he doesn't have service. So I'm contemplating whether or not I should call the neighbor that he went with and see if she knows like when they'd be back, how long this stuff typically takes. But he's been gone for like five and a half hours and I haven't heard from him. <sighs> okay, you guys, really, just, we have a light here somewhere. Uh, just gotta figure it out. There's light in here. There wasn't on the trail on the way out. We were out there till dark. like stupid scary. <laughs> I told him, I was like, you're not allowed. <laughs> Again. The title of this video came to me on the drive down. Oh my gosh, that means something bad happened. No, no, no. Actually, I'm good. I only have like one minor cut on my leg and that's because I fell off the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you fell off. Oh when we were gosh. all done. <laughs> you fell off the trailer. <laughs> I can't wait to show her the footage of me, guys. When we very first start, I turn on the bike and I go and immediately dump it down the hill into a tree. She doesn't even know. I haven't told her. I literally just walked in the door. She does not know anything that happened. But you guys, I think I'm gonna title this video if a snowmobile and a dirt bike had a savage baby. Well, I could get a lot of in exactly. the comments. <laughs> that's what I just wrote on. Those you timber sleds. You smell like a motorcycle. Yeah, well. You know, honey, that's just what I do. All right, Dad, let's warm you up and. Yes, just... thank you. I'm glad to be home. Glad I made it safe. Honestly, like I am trembling. Like my legs hurt. My triceps hurt. My wrists are getting numb. That was intense. Hours and hours I've been gone. And we were riding like the whole time. It was incredible. We went so. So high places you could never get without a freaking timber sled. That was pretty so awesome. Cool. So cool. There's like a year before you can do that again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I found mom in her natural habitat down here. You've been in hibernation, I feel like. You've spent like 24 this straight is where hours. I've been sleeping the majority of the last two days. <laughs> Doing it again. Except for the nap that I could not wake up from. <laughs> <laughs> she is fulfilling your orders. So many of them. We are uh, this so. This is nothing. It's all out there in boxes. Oh, it's like out here ready to rock, you guys. We're getting ready to take this to the post office. Cindy Hatton. Coming at you. <laughs> this is so much fun, you guys. We absolutely love it. It's a lot of work when we first launched these things, but it is so fun to get it out to you guys, get it into your hands and to it see the response. It is so fun. I am just absolutely loving it. They're coming for you. Climb through merch here. Excuse me. Pardon me. All right. Good. Pardon me. Who says that? Pardon me. I'm just eating a cotton candy sucker, which by the way is from a subscriber. I'm going to join in, in on this. We're just going to party tonight with cotton candy suckers. I am very grateful to be home, alive, and well. I didn't tell Mindy this, but there were multiple times I was fearful for my life, at least my safety. Some of those trails were right up against the edges of cliffs, and I did not trust myself. I don't know how to ride a dirt bike. I sure don't know how to ride a dirt bike on snow. Yeah, that would be very hard. But huge. Oh, there goes your sucker. 
<laughs> Huge shout out to Malcolm and Dave though for really having patience with me, for teaching me, and for like encouraging me. They were very kind to make it seem like I was doing a good job. I don't know that I was. I dumped the bike a ton. It's they okay. had to wait for me a lot. I would get winded no, trying know. to start it. I was gone for five and a half hours. We were riding until the night, but it was such an amazing, such an epic activity, such a unique thing. Like you can't, no. you don't see that very often. You can't do that any other way. Like we were cutting through trees that were just as wide as the handlebars. Oh I'm like, you can't do this with crazy. anything else. I think you gotta watch out for those trailers. <laughs> <laughs> I was standing at the time. Like, I wasn't even like on the bike. Well, you That's kind of my thing. That's what I do. Walking at a skate park when you broke your leg in two places. <laughs> Grateful to be home. I'm all warmed up. Mindy's going to be working on these orders. I'm going to be working on the vlogs. We're going to kind of hang out here in the basement working together tonight. But thank you for being a part of our lives every single day. We love you guys so much. You guys add so much value and positivity and just good energy to our life. So thank you for that. We really appreciate it. We love it. you. We love doing this stuff, sending these orders out to you. We'd love to see the response. So thank you guys for that. It's pretty exciting. Thank you for being a part of our family. Oh! Oh. Why, uh, uh. <laughs> you guys, in the next day's video, in maybe two days, I don't know when it is, Friday, I want to go to Trader Joe's. I've never been there, so will you please drop down or in our community post if you see that, will you please tell me what to buy from Trader Joe's? What are your favorite things? What do we have to try? What's the must have never from Trader been. Joe's? It's our very first time, very first time shopping there, period. First Trader Hall, Trader Hall? First Trader Joe Hall <laughs> on this channel. We gotta go to bed, guys. Look forward to that one coming up this weekend. We love you guys. Have a great week. Have a great night. Have a great life. Get him to bed. Somebody just take him. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>